Hi, I'm Tom Glazer, licensed psychologist. This is the third in a series of webisodes that aim to help people discover simple, everyday things we can all do to create more satisfying, fulfilling lives. Join me in listening in as three of the happiest people I know and psychiatrist and best-selling author, Dr. Henry Emmons, talk about how resilience and health dramatically contribute to their overall life satisfaction. <laughs> My mom was a single mom twice. She was married twice and four children from one, one husband and three from another. And we all lived together, so we were brothers and sisters, even though we were half brothers and sisters. And she raised seven kids on welfare. It was, you know, single mom, seven kids. And uh, it was pretty, pretty hard existence. Yeah. And, it, it, and, and that's just the beginning of it. Uh, when, I, when I was 13, she passed away. So throughout all of this and having a hard life, um, she, uh, was she up in, I, I found her on the kitchen floor. It was Christmas vacation in 1980. I think of resilience as, a, as a, being another inborn quality, something that, that is just part of our nature. And my view of resilience is that it, it is that ability to be able to um, experience whatever slings and arrows life throws our way and not succumb to it, not become overly depressed or, or overly anxious uh, or sick in some other way. This is going to sound completely and utterly cocky, but I really do believe, and I don't know where it came from and how I have it, but I really do believe that I walk around with a higher form of consciousness than most people. Mm -hmm. I do have a sense of awareness that I believe that other people just do not have. I do believe I see things. I think my eyes are wide open to the entire world at all times. I talk about seven roots of resilience or seven sources of this. Um, the first three are all physical and that is um, managing your energy, which is largely done through exercise, but there are you know, a few foods and other practices that keep our energy going. But exercise is a really good way to keep energy alive because it makes your body uh, respond to a stress that you're purposely giving it. Your exercise is a, is a stress to the body. And then the, the, each of the cells have to respond to that stress, and they do so by getting better at making energy. It is what I do. And, uh, and ask anyone. <laughs> and they'll tell you. He's on a bike. If he's not here, gone biking. Another of the physical sources of resilience is um, keeping your brain chemistry balanced. This is especially important for people who have experienced depression or anxiety, but again, it's important to all of us. And keeping brain chemistry balanced, I think the best way to do that is through diet. Um, through choosing a diet that's really right for your body. And in, in my books I talk about different, different body types, different constitutions, and, and that the, the diets required for those are slightly different for each person. But if you're paying attention to that, eating the foods that are really right for you, it's a really good way to keep brain chemistry at a, at a healthy level. For some people, adding a few nutritional supplements is also good, and I would say medications are really the last choice in that. They don't really normalize brain chemistry, they just manipulate it, but they can, they can do so in a way that is helpful if it's done wisely. The third of the physical things I call aligning with nature, and by that I mean um, recognizing that we are um, creatures on this planet that we're we have to pay attention to nature and the rhythms of nature. We need to um, pay attention to our own body's requirement for rest after we've been really active and um, alternating between stress and recovery from stress, between activity and rest, between being awake and active during the day and sleeping and sleeping really deeply. So for most people, sleep is the most obvious of these that really could require some attention. I brought it, You actually. did? Good, 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 good. Mm-hmm. I want to hear. So they say, you know, if you're stressed, take a deep breath, you know, and you do that. Why? Because it, I mean, on a biological level, you're calming your nervous system. Um, but it's also, um, in my experience, putting you in connection with 
with nature and the present moment. When people find that they're very stressed or they are unhappy, I usually say to them, are you breathing? Like, take some time, you know, notice how you're breathing. Be aware of your breath. And a lot of times when people are stressed or, or when I feel myself becoming stressed, it's because either I'm not breathing or it's becoming very shallow. And so when I take that time for a deep breath, I have learned that I become much, much happier, much more in a present moment. The last of the two roots of resilience, resilience I consider to be in the realm of the spirit or the heart, you might say, and that is um, cultivating a good heart, heart and creating deep connections. So I'm a practicing Buddhist and have been for 14 years, so that means I sit on a meditation cushion and I have meditation teachers and I, I study and practice those teachings of the Buddha. And um, so that brings me a profound sense of joy, actually, unlike anything else. So those teachings basically say, you are intrinsically well, you are intrinsically healthy, and you're intrins intrinsically sane. Oh, okay, so that's another formula for happiness, right? So I think like that, so and now I've really embodied that, like I've heard those things for many years, which is pretty counter-cultural actually, right? I mean, that's, that's not really the message we get necessarily. But somehow I've just bought it, I, I buy it now, and it feels like it's in my cells and I believe it and I sort of live from that place of, okay, I am and so are you. And so the worldview changes, right, when I have a belief that everybody around me is basically good. Those, those seven things, it, it encompasses a lot of who we are as human beings. Uh, it, it pays attention to the, the body, the physical self that we have to pay attention to. And, and I think it's really important to emphasize that if we don't have healthy brain chemistry or good energy, or we're not aligned with our own natures, it's pretty hard to do the other things. It, it, it's not enough to make you happy or really joyful and it's on its own, but it's got to be there or the other things don't have a real chance to fall on it.